My name is Jim Sorrell. Your host of the show tonight is Suzanne Sorrell. Her sidekick is uh, Kat Kirkpatrick, and she's with me tonight. Hi, everyone. And we hope you enjoy the show. Good evening, sweet spirits. Welcome to the show. We were having some technical difficulties, and we're running a little late. We got started basically about 20 minutes late, so we're going to run till like 10, 20, 10, 25 tonight. If you've been watching the show, we are a variety talk show and the focus is on the paranormal and ghosts. This is season one, and tonight is our, our 10th episode in the season finale. I just want to make note that our, we shortened the um, season by two shows, and I just want to at least mention the guests that we're going to be on next week. Our guests were going to be uh, Kathy Gass. She's an author. She wrote a book called My Life Amidst the Paranormal. If you want to buy her book, go to Amazon.com. Also, the following week, we were going to have Marty Haynes and Marsha Moore. They own a store called On Angel Wings, and it's in Burlington, New Jersey. I haven't been there, but I've seen pictures. They do lots of events. they got metaphysical kind of things for sale, um, also classes and things like that, workshops. So anyway, I just wanted to mention to them and our apologies about not getting them on this season, maybe next season. Um, if you missed the first nine episodes, you can go to the YouTube channel, which is Stairway East. And there's a space between Stairway and East. There you can find the nine episodes, and when we're done tonight, the, this episode will be up. As you know, this is an hour-long show. We are filmed, but we are live streamed, so this is live. We're, we are in a studio that we consider to be haunted, and we've been hoping for paranormal activity this, this whole season. There are reports of paranormal activity, and we've been watching and waiting and hoping. And we're going to get a wrap-up on that later by Ghost Bro himself, Jim Sorrell. 
but we are so close to the, to the Manassas National Battlefield Park where two major battles were fought during the Civil War and there were lots of casualties. So, you know, we really expect ghosts to just, spirits to just walk on by and things to be happening. But we've kind of been let down, at least on camera. But you got to remember, we're only live for an hour a week. So the odds of something happening are slim, but we're hoping. We're still hoping. Obviously, I'm your, I'm your host, Suzanne Sorrell, the host of the show, the owner of Evermore Paranormal. You met my husband at the beginning. That is Jim, Jim Sorrell. He's our announcer and ghost bro. And like I said, he's been monitoring equipment and kind of just keeping tabs on things to see if anything happens during the show. We're going to get a, a, a season report from him at the end of the show. Also next to him tonight was Kat. Again, she's my best friend, biggest supporter, my sidekick. She's going to chime in here and there with questions and comments. I, I want to shout out right now to Stairway East Rehearsal Studio. That The people behind the scenes, such as Mike, our director, Pat, the audio engineer, Lucille, the stage manager, and also guest, you've met her a few times. She's been in front of the camera on a few occasions, as well as Jazz, who's behind the camera. Just want to say thank you to them for um, giving us this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to have this show, and we hope that we'll be back next season. We, we don't know yet, but if we are back next season, it would be in 2017. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our guest tonight, and that is Real Life Paranormal Group. And say hi, y'all. Hi. Hello. Now, closest to me, we got Gail Cox. Then we got Brian Riggs Sr. and his wife, Donna Riggs. And um, they were, if you recognize them, they were here before back in March. And back when you guys came before, uh, it, was, it was like snowing. <laughs> and now to, today, oh, it's so hot, we could barely stand it. <laughs> And we definitely wanted you guys back because actually the kind of like director's choice, he said, if you guys can, if you can awesome. get them to come back, they did so well, we'd like them back. So That's you're awesome. here. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. And so. Thank you. That was Mike. He's, he, I think he heard, I heard him say, th yep, or something in there. But anyway, um, so you guys had such great ratings last time. And last time we got to know you, we talked about like, first paranormal experience, you ever get scared, all that. This time we wanted you to come back and talk about your favorite locations that you investigate and the evidence you've gotten. And we have a lot of pictures to go over too. So with that said, we're gonna start off with Moundsville Prison in West yes. Virginia. And uh, I guess you all have figured out who wants to speak first. Just tell me some general information <laughs> about Moundsville Prison. Well, it's an old Gothic style prison. It was uh, built uh, in the late 1800s, and I think it shut down in 1995. But uh, it's a prison known for uh, for a lot of murder and killings there, and, and also uh, they they hung a lot of people there also. So. Oh, really? And. Uh, so what kind of you know what kind of paranormal activity has been reported there? Well. Uh, you got uh, R.D. Wall, he, he worked in the boiler room uh, at the prison. And, uh, and you got uh, Red Snyder, he was, yeah. he's uh, one of the main spirits at Moundsville that everybody talks about there. And, uh, and Gil, you wanna say something about it? You caught some stuff there? Uh, yeah, what kind of personal South. experiences have yes. you experienced? Well, I guess it was last summer, we all three were sitting in the red cell and all of a sudden there was this light and we watched this, this light come in the cell, okay? It came in that cell and literally went all the way around that cell and back out the cell and out the door. We thought it was a flashlight. I thought somebody was out there just with a flashlight. So we really didn't think anything about it, but when we went back, I was telling the guy at the desk about the light and I said, well, somebody must have been shining a light through the window. He said, that's impossible because the window is blackened out. It, it couldn't be. So we literally, and, and at the time, I didn't have my camera on. Aww. And we literally watched this thing go all the way around and back out that um, door. 
And we've had some creepy things in there. I mean, I would sit on that bed. You could almost like feel something under that bed. Now, when I mm -hmm. go back the third of September, mm -hmm. I'm gonna spend some time in there by myself. I'm gonna see if I can get old Red to come out. Mm -hmm. You know, and hopefully he'll be nice. But um, have you been there a lot of times? Yes. We go every year, and mm -hmm. we were there one time. Just well, one certain time we went down and went into the chapel. And we was in there, oh, you know, and we just went up there and she acted like she was being a preacher and at the pulpit and all the thing. You I was know, actually and singing. We started singing and asking if they wanted to sing hymns with us. Mm -hmm. And this big old storm broke out. I mean, lightning and thunder. <laughs> yeah. It was ridiculously it was awful. Awesome. So we, you know, did the hymns and this and that. And when we played back, we got this unknown. Oh, my. I don't know what in the world it was something was cussing us out in another kind of language. It was like... I'm not even going to repeat what yeah, it said. Yeah, it was like, you know, because you could feel the negativity and the negative in there, and mm -hmm. it was just, it was just awesome. Yeah. It was, it was, it was it crazy was what we had caught night. just being in the chapel. They did yes. not want us there. No, they didn't want us there. No. Nope. Did you say it, it was, was raining and lightning and stuff it that was night a too? Storm, it was a storm. It caught us while we was in there. We could not get out. But there was this... When we wow, played it back, it was like, so you know. you guys, just, were, when you were singing, were you singing, like, religious songs? Like yeah. Amazing Grace or something? Which fact, really incited. Amazing Grace is what I was singing. Yep. Yeah, Gail was oh, singing. Oh, Rugged Cross and all that, yeah. you know, any of that. Uh, and I they just, it, it was this disembodied <laughs> voice that come back, and it was like it was just, you know, like it was but mad because we was actually. Yeah, yeah that was scary. And preaching, you said you were like. Yeah. Reading the Bible and things, yeah, and that, that kind of was, thing. That was a little unnerving. Of course, at the time, we didn't hear it. I'm just singing my little heart out. Yeah, uh -uh, we didn't and hear I nothing. Get I mean, out like, well, that's you know one of the things that I do and, all the time is I yeah. sing to the spirits. I learned a long, about three years ago, I started singing to the spirits, and they it, it really works. Yeah. It really Either, does. You know, if they don't, like if you sing religious <laughs> right. songs, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, they were but mad. Yeah. As loud as it was on the voice recorder, I mean, you, you thought we would have heard that mm -hmm. because it was like, wow. Yeah, there's no know. way it could have been missed. It's like right beside us or something. Wait, are, are either of these pictures that you sent, um, do you want to talk about the next picture that was taken at Moundsville? I think he's going to put it up. Taken, the RD wall? Yeah, that, that one. That was taken in oh. the boiler room. That's the pre-picture. At the prison uh, in Moundsville. That's where RD wall got, uh, he was he was a snitch up in there. And he, you know, he snitched on people mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. And uh, they, you know, mm -hmm. some of the prisoners just got tired of it and, and they killed him down there. In the boiler room. So by the doorway is and where he was killed down there. By the doorway, and I think um, the next picture he should be. I kind of see him in the, the doorway in the it's first this one. Picture here. Yeah. That's the one he has out right yeah. now. Yeah. That's okay. the next one. That it looks like he may be standing to the right of the doorway in that one. Some, both of those pictures, you think that's. Yeah. Uh, this was the uh -huh. actually the first picture I, I took there. Okay. And then this picture is where you can see him bending down. Okay. Yeah, see, yeah, go back see to the them. previous pic, if you can, Mike, the one with the two wall, the two white walls. That one is where, that's where they're yeah. seeing Artie, Artie Wall, uh -huh, To the right. That, that's Right we, here, right? Yeah, that's who we, we're thinking that that's who it is. Because that's, that's where he got killed at. That's where he got killed. Right yeah. here on that very Did you say he was right burned and cut and all that? It was uh, like he a was cut right up. up. He was cut up and... Uh, okay. We believe he was using the bathroom at the time they come down in and did that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so, it was, yeah. yeah, it was. Wow. Yeah, I can see something in my, I have a printout, well, so I can see it, too. The, That's my. I think we got that up on our, our um, real life oh, page. Yeah, it, we do. And yeah. you can actually see it really good. Uh, you right. Can, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. Anybody can freeze it, too, when they're watching the show yeah, and look they, at it yeah. more. Oh, yeah. I think one, mm -hmm. one of my favorites that happened at Moundsville was we were there last summer again, and Brian, I, and Donna were the only ones down in the uh, the area where R.D. Wall's um, cell is. Well, we kept hearing something running above us on the next tier. You could hear it run. So we got chased it down to one end. By the time we got down there, it was down here again. And we did this like three times, and I said, will you stop long enough for me to take a picture? And I kid you not, I have this picture of a man standing at the end of the corridor there. 
like wow. like he stood there and posed for me to take a picture. But the odd thing was he was in like a suit jacket, a tuxedo type thing. Well, mm -hmm. that kind of threw me a little bit. And so I took the picture up actually to Moundsville when we went back and, and at the desk, I said, I took this picture down and they wanted to know where it was. And I told him, I said, I don't understand why this man's in a tuxedo. Well, they told me before they used to execute those guys, they actually put them in a tuxedo. Mm -hmm. They put them in a, to, to actually execute them. They didn't do it in the, they actually dressed wow. them up to do it. So and you got a picture of the guy in his yes. final attire. Yes. Wow. And, and That's kind of mean, too. I don't know. The dressing him up in a tux dressed, to look nice yeah, for the like like their maker. To kill him. <laughs> and, and it's like. Did you ever have any scary things happen to you? At Moundsville? At Moundsville, Because yeah. we're talking about Moundsville. Any, that, did that anything scare you? Well, we when we go up to the psych ward, yeah. you'll hear something like, you hear a noise way down the road. Yeah. Well, not down the road, but down the hallway. So we'll go down the hallway into another room where we hear, hear it. And then after you get down here, it goes back up here and you hear it up here. So they'll play games with you. It's like, yeah. you know, you're, you hear it here, but once you get down to the area, you hear it, then you hear it back up there again. So, you know, whether we understand, you know, I don't understand yeah. where it happened from. I had some good voice recordings there too. And I asked, I asked them, I said, are you still locked in this room? And they clearly said no. Wow. Well, that's good, I guess. Yeah, that they weren't. Because <laughs> well, we I don't mean, know what they were in for, but yeah. you know. That's what I'm saying. They were. That that was the that was the worst of the insane that were putting those two war, rooms wow. there. Yeah. We just sit in there and it's complete dark and it's. Did, uh, did you have any questions, Jen? Before we move on to the next location. No. Okay, I think we, we'll move on uh -huh. to. Um, Trans Allegheny Lunatic right. Asylum. Oh, yes. I, mean, I got you. Got a good picture. Of that I love that picture. I love Trans Allegheny. Did you guys take that? Yes, ma'am. Brian did. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh -huh. So Brian or whoever wants to tell me a little bit about Trans Allegheny. I know it's a Don't huge location. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about like the the history or that kind of thing yeah, and the right ahead. and the paranormal activity it's, there? It's just an old uh, asylum. Yeah. Uh, a lot of uh, mental patients come, but mm -hmm. in you know the handicap and but uh, back in the day, you know you could you could be admitted there or just by having a headache or something. Yeah, you, know, you could just be admitted there. PMS you know. would get you in there. Yeah, uh -oh. they keep just me about anything. The headaches, I get. Yeah, it didn't matter. Yeah, and uh, some people would you know much like Penhurst, they would drop some kids off and just leave them. And, if they were bad, acting up, come back, tired of putting just, up with them. Just left them there. You That's know, horrible. They didn't know what to is, do there. And they got, a, you know, a little girl up there. What's her name? Lily, Lily. I think, or something. Uh -huh. You know, we we really never caught, you know, evidence of the little girl, but we, I think we set a ball up in yeah, a room we, or something. Yeah, we we did get a little, and, yeah, yeah, a little ball, bit. Uh, it kind of rolled a little bit. It did. But you know. It could have been, you know, the air or something, but, you know, mm -hmm. it did move some. But those rooms but, are pretty airtight, so, yeah, and I purposely I mean, found a spot on the floor where I knew that ball was not going to roll on its own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we were all sitting in the room actually talking to her, and all of a sudden the ball just, not even, an, just enough to where you saw it move. Mm -hmm. It didn't like roll across the floor or throw it across the floor. Just like. Just kind of a little bit. And I got so excited that I jumped down on the floor and tried to get it to roll to me, and then it completely stopped. <laughs> oh. It completely stopped, yeah. Didn't See, something chase then. you and uh, Rachel down the hallway there? Oh my goodness, yes. My daughter was with me, at the, with us one time, she went with us. Well, we, her and I were going down, the, these hallways are huge. Well, we were walking down the hallway and I noticed that she's looking to the right side of the hall and I thought, mm -hmm. what is she looking at? Um, and well, about that time, something jumped behind us. We heard the steps and it hit the floor, took off, chased us. It chased us down that hallway. We didn't bother opening the door. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. we, we ran out that door and we told the, the guy that scared it, you, huh? You're laughing. And we told the guy, um, you know, about what had happened. He said it happens all the time down there. 
And I said, you could have warned somebody. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it, it chased us, you know, whatever it was. It, it, it definitely, and my daughter hasn't went back since. Yeah, I didn't think, she doesn't ghost hunt a lot, does she? Not doesn't go lot. with you guys a lot. Not the one time lot. she goes, That's isn't that what they always do? They kind of get that newbie, yeah. that new person. And She's yeah. went to Moundsville with us, um, but she doesn't go a whole lot. It's, it's not her thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you think it was an evil spirit? Uh, yeah, I really do. But normally I'm not afraid of anything. But this thing was out to get us. Yeah, and... And you actually ran? Did you guys run? You I, know the rule, first rule of ghost hunting, don't run. Well, I, 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 I ran actually to keep up Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> I me and Donna was in another area. She was oh, gone. Okay. It's like, yeah, we wasn't there. Yeah. We didn't we know see. if it was going to, what it was going to do, because Rachel was gone. She, yeah. She, she was gone. Yeah. She's like, I'm done. <laughs> well, I mean, I've seen a lot of, you know, seasoned investigators that have been so scared of places that we're not going back in. Oh, yeah. You oh, I, yeah. I, well, I had to walk back up that hallway. We're already way. planning our next trip for Trans-Allegheny. We've got Moundsville first, then we're going mm -hmm. to Trans-Allegheny before it gets really cold. Oh, yeah. Because we're the, doing that, the Haldeman Mansion, too, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Are you doing that with one of the events, or are you no, doing it yourself? No, actually, we're, we're going to do ourselves. it Overnight. Oh, that could be. Well, yeah. I was gonna, that could have been a location so. for um, National Ghost Hunting Day. Yeah, I never thought about that. Check that. that. Um, about if you do that. get That's a location, a actually any location you use, you, you you really are not supposed to have to pay the location because it's it's supposed to be everything's supposed to be right. kind of charity. Uh -huh. So if you go to a location and try to get a place. And they're going to be pub get a lot of publicity from yeah. it. I never thought so about that. That's, think about that that's if true. it's not taken already. Okay. You don't have to do. Yeah. I mean, just because you're from West Virginia, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. wherever people travel all over to do these investigations. Oh, yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. I forget. Yeah. Keep yeah. that in mind, though. We definitely need to check into yeah, that. We will. I'm so, yeah. so these two um, pictures that you submitted, we have one of some bars. It looks like bars or a yeah, wall. Yeah, actually, that's a window. Oh, it's a window. Uh, yeah, that was. That was at the Lunatic Asylum. Uh, at the uh, Oh, it's forensics. the other one. Hold on. He's putting, let's put up, let's talk. Okay. If you don't mind, he's put up sure. this one first. That was taken at the medical building. Uh, this one. At uh, Trans Allegheny. Okay. Yeah, this, Can you uh, see it? Looks like there's a face. Yeah. yeah. That, was, a face that was the medical building, uh, yeah. medical center. We, uh, we stayed there overnight, and that was taken in the daytime. Uh, mm. probably about four o'clock in the day and uh, we was just out walking around taking pictures and stuff and they kind of showed up on the pictures and uh, but that we night went we in, stayed in the morning yeah we stayed there all yeah. night in oh, there, so. we stayed in, yeah that's the same place that we was going to lay on that slab but it was just it was so rotted out we wasn't yeah. sure. I was going to ask you you I know wanted, I don't have the guts to do that I had a casket still we in were, there Brian and I, and I were going to do it too yeah, we were just going to Stay in there for a while, but it was so rusted that uh -huh. it was you kind of get some out get some kind stuff. of you know, uh, infection yeah. or something if you get yeah, cut. Yeah. Just, yeah, it was pretty rusted up. They had an but that was in the that was in the medical building yeah. where the morgue is. Uh -huh. That's oh the yeah, same place the, that I caught right. that demon looking thing looking out the door. Yeah, it's the, the same exact thing, same place. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, we went that's, back in there. That's where we saw that light. Yeah, light come out of the wall. Yes. There. Yeah, that was well. We seen that for eyes. That we yes. It came out of that wall, uh -huh. went right back through the wall. Just as, it came up the it's side like, of the wall, and then it went boop when right, you, right into the wall. When you go it. there, you guys have do you have the whole place to yourself, or just yeah. a section? We did or what? that night. People. Really? That, that yeah. night, yeah, we, we did. Got it was lucky. supposed to be something like ten people or something. In that whole place, yeah, in, and we in, got you lucky. had well, no in in our in our uh, in our group in our, our group. group okay. Thing. So we're supposed to be ten, and seven people didn't show. And we got so, so lucky. So it was just oh. us. <laughs> Man, you guys it are was, lucky. It was yeah. awesome. We ended up just being. We had the whole was entire cool. place to ourselves. Yeah, and wow. it was the medical building, the forensics building. Yeah, they had and, uh, different types, but ours building. stayed real small. So. <laughs> How about this next picture? Is that the same as the previous? Yeah, that there is the forensics building. That's the forensics building. Yeah. Okay. And uh, as we was there, uh, you know. Well, we kept hearing noises and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, at that time you couldn't go in the building; it was locked. But we kept mm -hmm. hearing noises, and and I was thinking, you know, it sounded like something in there banging and stuff like that. And so 
you know, we looked in the windows and stuff, didn't see anything, and as we was leaving, I took a picture, and it looked to me like somebody was looking out that window, maybe with a bat in their hand or something, you know, some kind of club or something. But the next time if we you, went down there, we was allowed to get in that yeah, place, and that made good, me so sick. I got that. so disoriented, yeah, I, I had to go yeah, out of that building. Yeah, I had to go it was out. Just, it just made me so weak in my knees. I thought I was going to throw up. You were feeling yeah, nauseous and stuff? Yeah, something just went over. Yeah. And wow. I, we just couldn't figure that one out. I mean, definitely. Like the rest of them, you know. Hey, you guys but. over there. <laughs> would you would you stay the night in a morgue? Like this place they're talking about? <laughs> no. You stayed I, awake all night? Or oh, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Like, well, they even eye, have, right? yeah. in, in, in the morgue itself, you know, where they did all the morgue, there's actually a coffin there that's uh -huh. an original coffin from, you know, where they'd actually yes. carry bodies down oh, from yeah. that died in the old asylum and, and take them down in that coffin and to the morgue itself. And it's still there. The old coffin's still in the, uh -huh. in the morgue. Can yeah. you can you get in the coffin if you want to? I don't know. I didn't try it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, yeah, they I they said they wanted to get in the, the, the slides. We yeah. yeah. slide the doors out. We were not want to try yeah. that at all. It was yeah. just yeah. slabs. I mean, we were going to pull them out and lay in them and try to at least the get a voice recording. The look on our camera woman over there. It's like, yeah. No. <laughs> but it was so rusted, we were yeah. actually afraid of getting cut and yeah. stuff. But um, I think now, we got a lot of pictures on our page of that. Oh, yeah. and the slabs and uh -huh. stuff like that. Is that a Facebook page or like a dot yeah, com page? Yeah, it's a real life paranormal well, You can go either page. way. Facebook. Google dot com or Facebook or, or Google. Yeah. Life, real oh, you, life do paranormal. you guys have a dot com page also? Like, do you have like real life paranormal group dot com no. or anything yeah, like that? It's just real life it's paranormal just, uh, group, but you can either Google it or Facebook it. Either yeah. one, you still bring it up. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah, just friends type with all in real life paranormal and group. Was there, was group. there any uh, activity in that coffin? Mm, no, no, I don't think not a bit. much at all. In not the a bit. I even sat on it. No. I was going to say, did you it, sit in it? <laughs> there was sat not, on it. I sat on, on it. Yeah, I it. didn't. There was nothing at all that came. Not even any type of energy that came from it. Yeah. No. Around the old slabs, it was kind of yeah. Because it was, it was. All we had was our infrared cameras, which you know, of course, makes it worse. Because you have no light whatsoever except in your yeah, little tiny screen. Yeah, right. You couldn't see yeah. anything. It's so dark. I mean, it's so we dark in places, you know. Because I don't man. carry, we don't carry flashlights. The only time we carry flashlights is if we're like we're walking up a set of stairs or down a set. We'll turn them on long enough to do that. Uh -huh. But we use our... Just a little screen on our video I camera. We're just infrared. You know? Yeah. That's so. all we use. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see nothing. <laughs> dark. So. So let's move on then to Harper's Ferry yeah. and um, this picture of the fire. I remember oh, the first yes. time, the first time, um, well, let's tell me a little bit about Harper's Ferry and any kind of activity. And I know the first time we met you guys was at Phenomenology and you were going around this picture getting yes. uh, input from people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. About that. So that's a picture that that's Gail that took. I, yeah, I took that in Harper's Ferry. Mm -hmm. no, I mean, the, I was, it was just a beautiful day, nothing going on. Actually, it was daytime when I took this. And I'm just taking pictures down Harpers Ferry, downtown Harpers Ferry, and nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, when I got home, I was looking through the pictures, and all of a sudden, this one come up. And I thought, what is that? And I, I looked at it, and I called Donna. I said, Donna, you got to see this picture. It's a fire. And I have no idea where it came from or what was happening, but and some of these and the bodies the here, people, yeah. the people you can actually see their bones. You can see their femur bones or hip bones, but there's a picket fence there, and behind the picket fence there are actual people watching this fire. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. Those now, aren't those people weren't there when you took the picture, oh, nor no, the fire, no, right? The fire no, wasn't there either. It was, it was just was, a pretty day down there. It was there. a street of downtown Harpers yeah. Ferry, oh just taking God, snapping no pictures street. of Harpers Ferry. And, and was having a Civil War reenactment down there, you know, a bunch of campers and all that. And we was just yeah, walking through there and yeah, snapping and, pictures. And it's and, like, what the heck? And yeah, the smoke itself is so bellowing and so hot, you know, everything. The red and I. I mean, look at the fire inside the inside the uh, fence there. Mm -hmm. I have no yeah. idea what that is. It was is. about one o'clock in the daytime. Yeah. That was taken. I've had it analyzed so. by fire, you know, people that are mm -hmm. in. They cannot explain that. They said it's definitely a fire, but they can't explain why. So you kind of caught 
some kind of time warp <laughs> yes, or something. Yes, I caught something. some kind of time warp. Like, wow. literally, yes. you caught something mm -hmm. that yes, and it's, came through it's in real yeah. life. And it's been my favorite, I think, probably one of my favorite pictures. And the it's most, eerie. the most, I think, controversy picture I ever took. Because, you know, yeah. people. But Always. it's... it's yeah. It's honest to goodness, just a picture of downtown yeah. Harpers Ferry. Yeah, well, Harpers Ferry yeah. was burned up. Three, so, yeah. yeah, it's been yeah. burned up. That makes you think that was from then. You know? That's what it I'm was saying. burned up. Yeah, okay. yeah it burned oh, up yeah. twice. Yeah, um, that's yeah, you caught it. I just happened to be standing at the Arsenal building, you know, and down that's where right there. the down. fire started. Yes. Yeah. I was exactly. standing. I was standing right. Here's the building. I'm right here. And that's where I was just taking pictures of downtown, and I just happened to be standing at that building. That's yeah. why. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it one, been one of my favorite pictures. We get pictures. We don't know how we get them. I mean, we just, you know, I guess we're just so open and everything. You know, yeah, we don't sweet. disrespect them. You know, hey, they were living people one time too. So, so yeah. people just don't understand how we get our pictures, yeah. but we don't either. I mean, it just well, comes to yeah, us. Almost yeah. everything it's, when I go out to, I think it's just if you. It, like I said, it's almost like we're, we're magnets to the spirit. I think so. Yeah. And especially if we're just like easy to talk to, and they, like I said, you're respecting yeah. them, right. and they want to communicate with they you. They were somebody's family, yeah, and that's how they yeah. should be treated. Yeah, you know, people don't it's, understand that. They think if they provoke them and they make them mad, and they, all you're gonna do is get hurt by doing that. Yeah, or followed home, followed home. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't follow me. Don't, song. Just, don't it's make just a an old, uh, don't follow you home. It's just an old Civil War town, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, you know, that town could have made John Brown, I mean, uh, 1859, he kind of armed some slaves, you know, mm -hmm. with some rifles. That, you know, that might have been the start of the Civil War right there. Right there, you know. I will have to but, stop there next time. We uh, saw all yeah. the signs, but we didn't really know what we were uh -huh. doing. Yeah, we'll come up there when you guys can meet it. us and show us yeah. around. Oh, oh we yeah, got yeah. some. Yeah, so yeah. are there a, like, uh, there are there? It's a town, right? So yeah. it's a haunted town, like Shepherdstown. Oh yeah, Shepherdstown is Harpers Ferry's haunted. Yeah. Yeah, and there are there buildings <laughs> there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Lots of stuff there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's a lot of old ruins too. I mean, we spend a lot of time. And, and old ruins up there, which we actually get. That's where that's pretty much yeah. from. Yeah. Oh, the is. next one. Okay. Yeah. Let's put that next one up. Yeah. And I always say, you it's, know, people in Harpers Ferry, like one, one in every yeah. thirty people is a ghost. You no. Know? Every one in every thirty <laughs> people is a ghost. So. Oh, uh, as a cool. ghost. <laughs> that's what I always said. You know. Wow. But. So if we're standing in a crowd, you're looking around, going, uh, yeah. "You ghost." <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey, I, I mean, as living this close, haven't even been there, but I will. We'll go sometime when you guys yeah. can show us around because oh, yeah. we're down there. We're so close to so much and never yeah. get to even D.C. I'm only 30 miles from D.C., yeah. but we don't yeah. go down there. We kind of stay away. <laughs> <laughs> Too much, uh, you know, crime yeah. and violence oh, yeah. down there. Yep. Yeah, there but is. this next picture he has up, what is this? I, see, uh, I think I see a face. Yeah. Well, that was taken in the old ruins and... Right there in Harpers Ferry. It's, it's old. Uh, uh, it used to be a Civil War hospital. And church. church mm -hmm. Burnt down. You know, they rebuilt it once, I think, and it, it kind of got, you know, destroyed again. And that's the way it is today. Mm -hmm. But the same way. And we get catch a lot of our evidence right there in the ruins. A lot of uh, videos. Yeah, and videos and stuff. That's and, a picture and from voice when we was leaving. Yeah, mm -hmm. and... Uh, oh, this next one is very obvious face on yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. I mean, there I can see uh, yeah. a face. I, I don't know if it's and, a man or woman, but and that door. Peeking around. You know, we was going in and out. You know, that door the whole time mm -hmm. we was there, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, but I think they watch us. As you're we was up leaving, the mist also. It's not and there's not, it's not misty there. You're picking that up with the photo. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. just. But uh, as we was leaving, I, I turned around and just took a picture, and I didn't, you know, really look at the picture while I was there. If I did, I would have went up and see what, what it was, but when I loaded them on the computer, I, I noticed that. I said, well, I mean, I, 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 you know, I've I think got we the, caught something here. Yeah, know, but. I, I got a little fella down there. I actually call him Johnny. Um, he's literally standing over my shoulder laughing at me. I'm, I'm looking in this direction. I got my equipment on me and he's literally standing over my shoulder mm -hmm. laughing. 
And you, you hear can, him. You, you hear can him, see right? Him. No, I, oh, I, you don't hear him. No, I, I can see him. I didn't even know, and the picture was taken, mm -hmm. and he's standing there like, you know, you really need to turn around because I'm right behind you. Mm -hmm. um, and that was, we actually go back down there every now and then, and I, I'll go down and see if Johnny will come back out. But. Yeah. Well, just a matter, it was yeah. like three weeks ago we was there. We were down there, and uh -huh. we had a, a like a 15-year-old girl with us. All right, she's going yeah. to college to study about the paranormal. Mm -hmm. So she was up there with us, and we gave her a K2 meter to use, you know, just trying to teach her the basic stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, so she was going around with it, asking questions, and, you know, she'd feel a cold spot, or, you know, we tell her once it gets up, you know, lights up, you know, you're drawing something to you. Mm -hmm. Well, she'd get this one certain area to go all the way to the red, and oh, we keep, keep doing it. She'd come over, she'd get scared, and, you know, I kept saying, just go back over and talk to it. So, you know, we went over, and me, me and Gail went over to her, and, you know, all, all of our K2 meters were doing the same thing. And uh, so I started saying, Johnny, is that you? Which that's what Gail calls that little thing. man mm -hmm. that is on her oh, shoulder or whatever. Me and her were sitting there talking, and all of a sudden, Brian snaps a picture of me and, and well, me, Gail, and the little girl. And this misty thing yeah. is, like, right in front of right. us. I yeah. mean, it's... I wow. wish I'd sent the picture in. It's on my phone. I'll show you, yeah. you know, here yeah, on the blog. But all these pictures. It is awesome. Yeah, you can see the legs and, yeah, all, all, and all of this thing. I mean, just like it yeah. drawed off the energy. You think off. it was Johnny? We don't I think know. it was Johnny. I think Johnny. You know, as soon as we said, I mean, uh, Johnny, are you, you know, is that you? You know, show it's yourself. Soon, said, the yeah. Snap yeah. the picture. Mm -hmm. And there's wow, something there. I wish that was one of them that was sent in. Yeah. You know, I've never been one. I can throw out 99% of what they call orbs. I, I just kind of, you know, mm -hmm. because it can be anything. Uh, but in the same ruins, and I, I'll show it to you after the show. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have, but I have this orb. It comes in and it turns into, and you can see half of, of the face on this literally turn mm -hmm. while you're watching it. 23 seconds, this thing watches us for 23 seconds. Wow. It gets up, goes into this ball, and goes right back out the door. Hmm. Just as pretty as you please, he's gone. And I think it's the same door. It's the same door. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I've got something looking in the door. It's actually, mm -hmm. it, as it looks in, it's real bright. The face is real bright. Um, and you can literally see that thing. It, it'll, it'll peek in the door, and then it'll, it'll peek back out. Mm -hmm. And it does this at least six times during the whole. We don't, at the wow. time we don't yeah. see it, but how you can miss that bright light? There's no way. There's mm -hmm. No way because we're in total yeah. darkness. Yeah. I don't know why. Or, while she was telling the, the yeah, story, heard we heard that. something I heard I heard loud above <laughs> us. Yeah. yeah. Of course, we're in the on the last episode, <laughs> season finale, and they're gonna. I guess they're going. Well, I better show myself now. I heard so that. we were all kind of looking around. <laughs> uh, what I heard it. was that? Yeah. So it was hard to focus when we're going. Maybe, <laughs> was, maybe we yeah. have a ghost here. Finally. That's pretty loud. So yeah. and um, so mostly like at Harper's Ferry, it's the ruins that you go to. That's yeah. Basically... We'll go down there to the John Brown Fort also. Go up there in the graveyard too. Man. Yeah, in the graveyard, okay. just right above the ruins. Can you just so. go, like if you want to go to Harbors Ferry and go in the ruins, you can go? Yeah, just yeah. go wherever. daytime? Oh, do yeah. they, no, we go nighttime too. We go after the night. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't get in trouble? I don't no. want to go no. there and get in trouble. Yeah. They've uh, never bothered us. Actually, don't we see was anybody. down at the John Brown Ford. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And this cop pulls up and he stops and just like, you know, watched us, what we were doing. More ghost hunters. We had the grid grid pins Yeah, out he didn't bother us at all. He just video went. cameras. He just sat there for a little bit and he just just left. Didn't say a word. Did you guys just hear? I heard kind of a moan. I heard something too. Too. Again. Okay, I, so I I'm really, sorry to keep it. You guys, yeah, are you bringing I, the spirit? That sounds good. I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> and this, all of a sudden, like, we heard a noise over over oh, yeah. you guys. Yeah, it was pretty And then I, I, I really do think I heard some kind of moan over here and there's nothing over here. That was pretty Last loud. time you guys Everybody were here, here a lot of the pictures showed orbs, and I know people throw out orbs. I don't always throw I've out. Now th there are orbs. some yeah. perfect, beautiful that that are truly orbs, um, but some a lot of my throw out because it could be hit. dust, it could be moisture. There is right be. here is where you um, got hit. You got a hit. Usually yeah, where you're sitting, hit. we've gotten right. hits. Um, a hit sure that. Did. 
I sure we may be getting paranormal activity tonight. The so. last, I guess they're going. Uh, come on up season here. Season finale. Y'all's welcome. <laughs> Got to show you. So come everybody, on up. this is a K2. Come meter. right here next to K2. us. K2. The K2 is is, is having it. some hits as well. Well, so do you guys have any questions about Harper's Ferry? Where are we going? When are we going? <laughs> We're going when it's not as hot as it's been. It was like 100 degrees yeah, today really. plus. But yeah, it's and and you guys ever encounter like snakes or stuff when it's really hot out there? No. We have down one in time, Sharpsburg down one there in time Antietam. We, yeah. A big, a big black, black one. snake. Well, that's what we're getting ready to talk about right now. Is Char <laughs> Let's go on and talk about Sharpsburg. Yeah. Tell Sharpsburg. me about. We don't have any pictures for that. That was the end of the pictures. We don't. No, no uh, pictures for that, but can you tell me? We got a lot of pictures, just in sitting in. Yeah. Tell me what this Sharpsburg, Maryland is about. What kind of paranormal activity there? The Antietam well, Battlefield. Yeah, it's, it's a Civil War battlefield, and uh, I think it was like one of the bloodiest days in history picture. that took place there. And uh, there's a set of woods down there called the West Woods, mm -hmm. and it's like just right off from the Dunker Church. A lot of mm -hmm. a lot of action took place there, and uh, we're thinking in that set of woods there. Uh, you know, we've never seen anybody in there. You know, mm -hmm. regular people, but the stuff we caught in there, uh, we're thinking there's a family there that's you Lots. know that's living there, and wow. because you know we caught a, a you know a little girl, the dog. Braids, Dog, baby. Are you talking real? Are you talking real or uh, spirits. family spirits? Yeah, family yeah, the last spirits. show, Not there was a baby people. in the tree. That, was yeah. That, yeah, yeah, we that saw is. that last show. Yeah. That's in the West Woods, right? Yeah. Okay. Did you guys and, uh, find out what the, the family's names were? No. You know, we never did. Uh, <laughs> we did talk to a park ranger down there, and he said uh, there was, uh, you know, before. The Civil War. There was, a family. there was a family that lived over in that part of the of the woods. There's sure some and old ruins. There's still some like really old, like chicken coop thing looking yeah. things yeah, up in and there and mm -hmm. stuff like that from back in the day. But, but and it's really just. I mean, we, we've but, caught EVPs and stuff back in there. I mean. We is just, that the, was that where one of the battles it was the bloodiest day in, in the Civil War? Is mm -hmm. that yeah. the battlefield? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. That's, now, she that's got an EVP. That said he she we thought it said he's a hundred. Ended up being eleven. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it was a little drummer right. boy down in the oh. cornfield. Um, uh -huh. I have actually, actually that's on our page. Um, yeah. We have I were standing out doing an EVP and and I said how old are you? I thought for sure he said a hundred, but when I listened to it again, no, mm -hmm. he said it was 11. Yeah. 11. Yeah, he's just a little boy. He's yeah. clearly 11. We was getting ready to leave one night. We was taking these was. pictures on our way back to the clearly car. Clearly 11. I'd snap mm -hmm. a few pictures, she'd snap them, and we got this, looks like, looks like a ghost lady or something following us all the way down through there. Because mm -hmm. you could snap it, and then further up you snap it, and, and it seems like it comes further down the road as we're walking. I don't know what that was, was following me out of the cornfield. I have a picture uh -huh. of that as well. You know, I'm walking out of the cornfield and I turn around just to take one more picture and this thing is just following me right out, right behind me out the cornfield. You know, mm. you can clearly see it. Yeah, and there it is, pretty place. I thought, yeah, yeah he's, he's pretty close. <laughs> you seem to attract a lot of kids too. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, like we 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 do. Yeah, thank well, you. I had four boys of my own, and oh, I had all true. the neighborhood yeah. kids. So I guess I might be pretty good with them. Yeah, <laughs> ghost mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm told that I have a little girl that follows me around. Um, psychics have told me there's that I have like a little daughter. I didn't have oh. any kids myself, so you know, it's kind of neat. It's pretty cool. That, of course, yeah. I don't know if she's around, but at least it's a girl because I did want a girl. <laughs> But um, do you guys have any questions wow. about Antietam, um, Sharp, Sharpsburg? It's hard to say that. Sharp Sharpsburg. Yeah, Sharpsburg. <laughs> no? No. Say it three times. Well, it looks like we could talk a few minutes about Gettysburg if you yeah. want. We don't have any pictures, but everybody, yeah. you, all you got to say is Sax Bridge, whatever. Everybody, everybody knows, yeah. knows Sax Bridge. What, uh -huh. what, um, when you go, we got a few minutes to talk because we're a little ahead of schedule. Um, that clock, we started late, so we still right. have some time. Sure. And so, 
when you guys go to Gettysburg, what, what, what are your top three places to go? Little Round Top. Saks Bridge. Saks Bridge. And we found a new bridge before you get to Saks Bridge. Yeah. That we do a lot of investigating mm -hmm. on now that we, we catch no, some things. No, I don't think anybody knows it's there. Don't tell anybody if, it, if it's yeah. something you guys found. Don't tell them. I don't tell think anybody knows it's there. Yeah, it's will be overloaded really like Saks Bridge next. Exactly. So don't, I'm sure everybody anyway. knows. Yeah. They'll find it yeah. sooner or later, but it's yours it's, right now. It's really creepy. We took a lot yeah. of our stuff from Gettysburg and took it to Mark. Ne Nevin? Mark Nesman and uh -huh. Nesbitt, yeah. And he's like in awe of some of the stuff we have yeah. caught. It's like, you know, it flips us out too. But especially yeah. coming out a little round top late at one night. And yeah. on his videotape, well, it was my video camera. I got tired of holding it, so I had him doing it. And he's just panning out through there. And we got this thing following us out, ducking up and down in the weeds, trying yeah. to hide from us. Yeah, us out. it was literally yeah. ducking up and yeah, down. Yeah, he's and ducking up and down. And, and watching us. And it's, and it's like, wow, you know. Well, even when yeah, you and I were, wild. we were sitting on that rock, remember, when Brian happened to pan his camera at the time, and there's literally right above us, probably just a very short, there's somebody sitting there going. Yeah, right in front of me and her. Just, just yeah. as crazy. I think please, it's on the page. With a hand on chin with his elbow wow. on his leg. It was going, the same night. Like, what that was a little round top, was it? Yeah. Little round top. Are you yeah. guys hearing it, noise back yes. there? I'm hearing tapping I, and stuff back here. Yep. Yep. Sorry to interrupt something. you, but I've been sure, hearing but. noises. Yep. We're hearing <laughs> kind of like popping, tapping sound. Is it my pen? Let me see. I don't think it's you. No. no. I've been hearing I keep hearing too. popping yeah. back there and something. tapping kind of yeah. sounds. I guess they're getting desperate. Sorry to interrupt you guys. <laughs> yeah, right. you're fine. Um, so but, you were talking about little yeah, round top. It's not actually right on top where all the all the people go on top of Little mm -hmm. Round Top. Yeah. This is like at the bottom at of the Little very Round bottom. Top where the little creek runs through. Yep, yeah. Right there. So. And I have, um, Donna was taking pictures down there one night and actually of my car. And you had taken one too. And Brian said, yeah, there's somebody around your car. So I'm thinking, who's messing with my car? So I go around. There's nobody around my car. Well, I, there's this head. You can see him start to peek up in the window. And the second picture, my hand's actually going through his helmet, like going through it. Wow. And then the third picture, he's kind of immersed into the, the window itself. But the weird thing was, is in my back seat of my car is this real bright light. Mm -hmm. Bright light sitting in my car, mm -hmm. you know. And I said, buddy, you know, you can hang out in my car if you want to, but you can't go home with me. Yeah, you can ride around Gettysburg, do what you want, but you can't go home with me. But this was bright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like he had already gotten in the car and was ready to roll. Uh-oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about um, you, you found this place. Don't say where it is, this bridge that yeah, I say please that. don't identify it because you, yeah. it'll be, yeah. you, it won't be yours anymore. And is it, it a covered well, bridge like the other one? It's it's not a covered bridge. It's a uh, it's a bridge. It may be maybe 50 feet long or so, but it's not covered okay. or anything. Just curious. But, yeah. So what kind of stuff it's are you getting old, at this new yeah. bridge? Old. Well, well, that one night there was like something that just I don't know. It came it up like up the bank or something at us. And yeah, like, it was wow, weird. you know. Yeah. And uh, pretty cool. Yeah. That uh, caught a couple uh, photos with with some little mist in it, you know, and, uh, and heavy breathing on our uh, uh, voice recorder. It was really heavy. So, yeah, so mm, it's pretty I wild. Think it and it, something here. It's you pretty know. cool when you find some place different to go that ain't overcrowded. I heard that too. <laughs> was yep. it sorry, you, sorry to keep <laughs> interrupting. Are you guys hearing the noises behind me? There's like um, tapping. Yeah, I can hear it. Kind I of popping. It. Thing. I heard something go back here, but I, I heard I'm hearing it right here yeah. a lot, right right in behind here. me, almost yeah. the whole time you've right been in there. Um, to, the right curves. here. So it's finally <laughs> getting the nerve up. Sorry to I keep interrupting just, you. <laughs> I wish they just come, come and hang out. out with us. We're just want to make sure it's nothing, tech, you know, like yep. um, out. lights or anything. We keep hearing tapping and Did popping back there. On I think we're Check checking to make sure that it's safe. He's going back there to see. It, it sounds like it's right here. He's going behind the curtain. 
So let's just make sure it's not a... Um, it's like definitely a, something tapping back there. We heard a pop earlier Johnny up here. Johnny Gale. Now I know that uh, it's, it's pretty much behind me uh -huh. where these lights are back here. You can come on if you want to walk. Come on, everybody. Come on, come on back here, Pat. Yeah, on. Meet Pat. You see, Pat, he's our audio engineer. <laughs> I'm hearing popping right here. Come yeah. on out and talk. I hear tapping, it too. and it's kind of if it's not a, a mechanical <laughs> thing. We yeah. heard a loud pop up here. Yeah, that was pretty loud. Um, yeah. Everybody see Pat? Pat, wave to the camera. You're fine. <laughs> Pat's usually uh, he does my. Um, He's the guy that does my mixing and mastering for my songs and so on. And he's yep. he's the the audio engineer, but he's coming out to make sure. <laughs> it must be. Um, uh, seriously, there's, I'm glad you checked. We can yeah, eliminate that. But I'm, we're hearing tapping like crazy. Yeah, I do hear All of us are yeah. hearing this noise that we've been here for nine episodes. This is the tenth one. And I'm hearing so much stuff going on behind me. Yeah. Um, we might want to, we have just a couple minutes. Um, they know they know real life paranormal groups yeah. in the house. That's what Come it is. Come on over here. That's right. And how about, so basically why we're still, we're welcome, welcome you to come yeah. on and get on camera. Come That's on exactly on what we, we want. We would love that. <laughs> we have, uh, it, it is, we've been here for a bunch of videos I've shot here on stage, um, the show prep shows, other things, and we have never heard this noise that's going on behind me. There's Usually it's over in the bistro area. That's why Jim's <laughs> sitting over there. Are you guys hearing it over here, this tapping and, and kind of popping sound? We heard it a little bit once back there. Over that way. Yeah. Well, the audio guy just came out and checked to make sure it's hey, not it feels kind of different in here. technical Maybe or anything. Maybe it's just me. We had a couple hits on the K2 over uh -huh. there. Right? Yep, it was sure just did. a one light. It didn't go too far. Uh, it actually, to the light green. Mm -hmm. It went to the it middle went about one. Middle okay. ways, so. Wow. It even feels yeah. kind of different in here tonight. It does. Uh, we have it's a psychic on staff. I'm winking. Psychic on staff. It she is a psychic. Are you feeling anything, um, Lucille? I mean, we're something behind us. Do you want to come up on one? If yeah, you want we, to come on camera, come up here and see. We really do. Um, I think the if air you feels feel thicker. anything right here. It does. Right it feels it different. It got really cool all now. It, it was really a pop does. up here. Tap. I'll hear it again. It's tap, tap, tap. You should come up because maybe you, you'll feel something. It actually something. feels a little different here than it did the it last does. time. It, it feels like even since we started talking about it, 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 it seems, Yeah, it really is a different kind of a We're hearing feel. a lot of noise right behind me. Tapping, popping. We thought, well, what could it be? If I wish they would just come on up here and hang out Everybody, with us. this is Lucille uh, now, our resident psychic. <laughs> this is the finale, so why not, right? <laughs> and she's the stage manager. She's been on our show several times. She's psychic. And I want to know if she's, and she has experienced paranormal activity when the show isn't being filmed. And, oh my goodness, something just poked you over there. Cat? Yeah, the side. In the side? Did it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? Oh, the side, Jim. Yeah, that's side, awesome. Jim's next to you? That's awesome. That's didn't do that. I didn't touch it. No, I know you didn't. So we're checking to make sure it's it actually safe. And... No, it was like just like a... <laughs> so, sorry to interrupt you guys. Let's, I um, we, think it's fine. Right. It's really nice. I know, you guys. Yeah. See what? You See, now you have to come back again. Yes, You're bringing well, the spirits with yes. you. Yes. So That's what's, pretty cool. what's next for you all? Why well, she's checking that out behind us, which is great because this is what we've wanted. Actually, the whole time I've been on camera, the um, the bathroom door is open, and I swear I've seen somebody in there. It's and a, it's it's kind of like an image, like like a human image. But and also before beforehand, Jazz, our camera woman, who runs all four cameras out here in front of us, we're looking at her the whole time. She caught something on this main camera, the one that I'm looking at. Yeah, she saw something. What, what, what did you see? It was like a, a, ma a white mass or something that you couldn't explain earlier tonight. I know. And there's Lucille back there. She is psychic, so I want to get a, get a, um, it just, yeah, it while feels... she's, you know, looking back there, can you guys tell me what's up next for you guys? Well, what you doing? <clears throat> Our next, uh, coming up, uh, September the, what, third, third uh, we'll be at Moundsville mm -hmm. uh, Prison up there. And uh, the whole month of October, 
except for the 1st of October. Uh, we'll be at the uh, Pollard Theater helping every them out. Weekend, every weekend. With the, uh, every weekend. Yeah, it's a with great the, uh, gig. For the scare fest. And, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're planning a trip for the Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum again. Uh, Probably in, uh, in the Haldermer Mansion October. before it gets cold. All this is before mm -hmm. it really gets cold. So they don't so, have any heat in the Haldeman. Oh, I don't know. No. I haven't been there. I'm not so. sure about the Haldeman. That'd be the first time for us uh, up there. But uh, anyway, we're uh, you know we're trying to find some you know some places uh, you know new new mm -hmm. areas to go and. Right, something you know, different. Uh, yeah, and you know, not everybody's and done. Exactly, you know, overdone. You exactly, know. you know. Yeah. And uh, you know, not where a hundred people go all the time, or you know, right. we're just out looking and seeing. I mean, you know, always yeah. carrying our equipment, and hey, let's stop here, and you know, and mm -hmm. check this out, and might find a new area or something, yeah, and, you know. Mm -hmm. and, but uh, going back to Gettysburg again to the Saks Bridge Park, uh, we was up there. Uh, I don't know if it was last summer or uh, it wasn't real long ago, but anyway, he's he's gonna finish the story up with um. <laughs> wow! Yes. No way. Okay. Big. How much? <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. How much of a, a, a drop was that? It's a big drop. It dropped from, from 68 to 59. That's a big okay, drop. Okay, so wow. that is. Man. What, 11 I can degree feel, drop? I, yeah. I can feel it. I tell you, my knees are I feeling feel really chilly cold. right now. Actually, it's cold. I'm sorry, Brian. We, you know, right. when the when the ghosts come out, oh, well, yeah, we're going to let them. Yeah. I was actually going to say, I'm really let cold. Yeah, it's gotten chilly. Exactly. When we notice the pop, yeah. the noises, and so on, I notice that it's gotten really cold. Yes. I'm, I got a jacket on because I'm always cold, but I mean, my knees are cold. You guys are feeling the cold? Yeah. And Lucille's our psychic yes. and stage manager. She's back there with a mel meter, and she said it dropped 11 degrees. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I can Man. feel it too. And that, that's usually an indication that we got something oh, yeah. here. Now, uh -huh. I'm oh god, I'm getting I'm not I'm not psychic, y'all. I'm not gonna ever say I'm psychic. I am a, I am very sensitive. I'm getting total chills right now. I'm cold. I'm like, not, really, I'm not even kidding. I'm cold. So I'm sorry. Fin want to finish up right. with the Sax Bridge story, and <laughs> yeah. then we will. We'll be going over to Jim before we yeah. close out the show. And you know, you got to get lucky to get there if nobody's there. You know, because if you go there, you know, any time before 2 a.m. in the morning, yeah, it's just a lot of people. Oh yeah. We was there about three, three o'clock. Nobody there. We was the only ones, and uh, we, uh, you know, didn't hear it with our ears. But once our voice recorders went off, we heard it like sound like a cap one, you know, pop, pop. Mm -hmm. And uh, then all uh, once this little kid come through and said, Daddy. Wow. So, that was sad. Uh, that's so we sweet. don't know what that was about, but, you know. And you And uh, we thought it was a little kid playing with his little cap gun or something, and mm -hmm. he just yeah, hollered for his strange. daddy. Yeah. You know, he said, Daddy. And a few other words he said that. Yeah, that was strange. Uh, you couldn't really make out, but you could tell it was a kid. You know, maybe okay. seven or eight, maybe. And well, we have, uh, we've had some excitement tonight. I'm so glad you guys came all the <laughs> sure. way from oh, yeah. West Virginia. And um, I know you're not that far. It's like an hour and yeah, a half it's not drive. That far. But, because you could be, I mean, depending on where we're in Virginia and you're in West Virginia, we could literally yeah. be like 16 hours apart. But <laughs> yeah. thank goodness it's only like an hour yeah. and a half. Before Lucille walks off, Lucille, did you? We're wrapping up the show. I'm going to talk talk to Jim about what we had over the season. Can you come up or j maybe join in the bistro? And let me just say thank you guys for coming. Oh yeah, thank you for thank having you us. Love being and here. Um, obviously, if you're bringing the ghost with you, we <laughs> want you back next season, okay? And you bring you, like I said, you guys are real. I thought I don't know. Do you guys have a motto? Do you have a slogan? Just don't. No. I mean, my I mean you know, real life paranormal group. Do you have a slogan? Because we, I came up with like, one today for you. I we would don't. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. I mean, or let's keep it real. Or keeping it real. We're about as real as it gets. We are about as real we as it gets. Really as real as it gets. Yeah. There's nothing fake about us. I mean, that's what's, why we love you. Fake, you know? Never, never change, you guys. And I wanted, yep. you know, I wanted to say that. I mean, if if there's anybody out there, honestly, that truly are experiencing something and need our help. You know, we're from Martinsburg, West Virginia. Um, please 
let us know. You know, we'll, we'll come and help you out. Yeah, and they, they have yeah. good, they really mm -hmm. are, and it's all have good intentions, and, yeah. good it's heart. It's all free of charge. It, it won't cost you anything yeah. if we can help you. And if you. we can't help you, we can find somebody. Yeah, will. we can exactly. find somebody that will if we can't do it. Right, yeah. we pass it away. Well, thank yeah. you guys so. for coming. And obviously, you know, if, if we have another season, we'd love to have you guys back oh, because we're bringing the spirits with you. Yeah. It's cold. And <laughs> I'm right now I'm freezing. We're going to check. We're going to really swing out. over to Jim. Sure. And uh, in the bistro. <laughs> we're, we're just got a few minutes left. We started late. We got about five minutes under, and I, I do need to make some announcements tonight. So, Jim, you have been sitting in the bistro, and I see you're joined by you're joined by Cat, or my buddy, and Lucille, the psychic stage manager, etc. And um, Jim, first of all, tell us before tonight what kind of experience. What what did we get? What kind of paranormal activity had we gotten on camera? Very little. <laughs> Very little. Very little. Okay. Um, back in March, we actually I think Kat was with me at that time as well. We did hear a tap in the corner mm -hmm. that uh, we identified, but uh, that was all. And then I think the following month is when uh, we saw the flash. Jazz and I were, saw a flash, but that turned out to be um, they had some failure in the lighting. Um, but I thought what was strange about that is the lighting's not that old, and mm -hmm. why it would be failing already is a little unusual, as far as I'm concerned. But that's that was about it until tonight, and then we've had all this activity tonight, and also just before the show started, Jazz was sitting here, and and both of us heard uh, something in the ceiling as well, a creak or a noise up there. I think Brian said he heard it too. Oh yeah. So it's, for some reason tonight's, tonight's been very tonight, active. But you do know, you do know, like. Somebody did pass away in the building a couple of weeks ago, right. unexpectedly. Right. It may be that person now. I don't know. But Lucille came out. She's psychic. We wanted to get her um, impressions of what's going on behind me tonight. What's, what do you think, all this tapping and popping sounds? I just got chills is all. So I got the millimeter, and mm -hmm. it dropped down at, uh, from 68 down to 59. Yeah, so, it's, it's been obviously cold. I'm like shivering. Yeah. Right Actually, now. I don't know if the batteries are going, but it's fading out. The light's fading out on okay, it. Okay, but too, we can so. feel that it's gotten cold. Yeah. Yeah. So, really cold. but also I took the K2 over. Uh huh. And it went up to the orange. Wow. It went up to orange. Okay. Yeah. In the same area, but um, from moving away from behind you, um, it mm -hmm. went back to the normal temperature. But directly behind you, yeah. it's very cold. It is. I'm yeah. freezing. It's very cold. Right here between I'm us, cold. my yeah. knees are cold. I'm just shivering. I yeah. wear a jacket because I'm I'm always and, cold. But okay, I did hear the. I just saw a shadow over there in the bathroom, y'all. Yeah. I mean, we don't have a camera on it, but I saw a obvious. I wish they'd come on out here. Um, <laughs> we do well. know Lucille has had, um, ex you know, paranormal experiences <laughs> where she was locked in one night. Where yeah. she heard laughing and footsteps. Yeah. Thought it was a woman, right? It, that night. It was a woman's laughter. And now we're just getting all this tapping and stuff. And it's too bad that this is this. Well, it is the season finale. So why not? <laughs> so anyway, um, with that said, that was all. That's what we've gotten. So I guess the spirits want us to come back for another season. You guys hear that? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, before we run out of time, we are actually we've run an hour now. But let me make a couple quick announcements. Again, thank you all for coming. Our sure. pleasure. For it's, us. it's a little bit Our of a drive, pleasure. but you know, it's worth it. It's definitely thank worth you. it. We really appreciate it. And um, basically, this is the season finale of the show. It's the tenth episode. I want to let's see. I want to thank the cast, which I can't even name all the names. Jim and Cat are the cast, the team, the Evermore Paranormal team. The crew that's behind the cameras, um, Pat, Mike, Lucille, and Jazz. The guests such as yourself over the whole season. We've had guests from Virginia, West Virginia, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Florida. And by the way, right now, I hate to keep interrupting, but I feel like something, I am like shivering. Yeah, my arms have cold something, can are. I have the K2? I'm trying to like end the show and they don't want us to, I guess. I am totally feeling, I do have a mic on me right now and it's not, it's not affecting that, but I am 
My arms are really cold. I'm shivering right now. It's totally cold. So the spirits won't let me wrap the show up, I guess. So um, basically, thank you to everybody that's been a part of this. It's been a great opportunity for us to learn. Are we getting any hits on there? I, can you watch, maybe keep an eye on that because I can't while I'm doing these announcements. But um, it's been a great opportunity to learn and um, to do a live show every week. And we've had little things here and there, but it's been a great learning experience. Also, I want to say like in the next couple months, obviously, Season two, we don't know yet, but if we do have a season two, it won't be until 2017. So that's about five months away, at least. So we'll let you know, we'll keep you informed about that. What I will be doing for the next couple months, mainly is focusing on the, the National Ghost Hunting Day. Dot, well, it's nationalghosthuntingday.com. I'm one of the ambassadors. I'm covering the frontier region and the states in that area, such as Texas and all the way up to like Montana, Wyoming, and so on. You definitely want to sign up for this. Maria and Bob Schmidt um, got a National Ghost Hunting Day to be an official day. And it is on the first Saturday of every year in October, the first Saturday in October of every year. So this year it's October 1st. Go to the website, nationalghosthuntingday.com. Register to be a part of this epic and historic event. Not only, not only will it be a, a historic event, but we're trying to get into the Guinness Book of World Records with the lo world's largest ghost hunt. So the first 100 teams that sign up will be part of the live feed that will be, that will be um, aired from the Command Central, which is at Scarefest in Lexington, Kentucky. So this thing is getting bigger and bigger by the day. Don't wait to sign up. You want to be one of the first hundred teams to sign up. And if you have any questions about uh, questions, go and see who your ambassador is for your, your state. Contact them. But I'm going to be part of it. I think Real Life Paranormal are planning to be part of it. We're really excited about that. So we've run. We started late. We're right now. We're just a couple minutes past the time. I just want to say that. And I want you all to, to say the last words with me when I say, um, this has been the Evermore Paranormal Show. Everybody, peace, peace out. out.